Hello Templeton residents, welcome to TCTV News for the week of May 22nd, 2023. I'm Hannah Bennett. And I'm Logan Casey. TCT News is the show where we couldn't come up with a slogan, so instead we have Logan. I make a motion to have a slogan. I second that Logan slogan motion. Okay. Templeton's annual town meeting concluded on May 10th. All 33 articles passed with a good deal of discussion regarding the regional school agreement amendments. I don't think it's very well described and it's not clear what changes to the budget are being made, nor is it clear what changes are being made for our kids. The Templeton Town Meeting passed an amendment to the regional school agreement that all capital costs such as school building maintenance be both shared by both uh, Templeton and Phillipson proportioned by the number of students. Phillipson has not put the regional school agreement on his town meeting warrant. Next steps remain unclear. What we have right now is an agreement that was done in 2017 that DESE never approved. We need to go backwards to the 2012-2011 time frame, and then that goes back one more step to 2007, prior to the Education Reform Act. We are not in compliance unless we come up with a current and active regional agreement amendment. Also at town meeting, Laurel View Road is finally made a public way. That may be the Laurel View residents still celebrating. Congratulations, Laurel View residents. We know it has been a long and bumpy ride. And that's just driving down their road. You can watch recordings of the annual town meeting on TCTV's YouTube page and Channel 8. Uh, coming up this week, the following meetings will be broadcast live by TCTV from Templeton Town Hall. Templeton Select Board will meet May 24th at 6.30 p.m. and the Advisory Committee will meet on May 25th at 6.30 p.m. On the topic of town government, the results of the 2023 Templeton Town election are in. And here are the winners. Select Board, Tim Toth, the incumbent, and Matthew Rivard. Board of Assessors, Sean Case and George Barnes. Board of Health, Laura Hogue. Cemetery Commission, Matthew McDonald. Community Preservation Committee, John Henshaw. Light and Water Commission, Dana Blaise. Moderator, John Graves. Write-in Candidate Planning Board, Charles Carroll II and Franklin Machete. Sewer Commission, Mark Machete. Uh, NRSD Templeton, Henry Mason, Sean Case, and Shauna White. NRSD Phillipson, Danielle Boucher-Brunel, and write-in candidate Linda Langevin. Congratulations to all of the candidates, and thank you for your dedicated election workers. Did you ever think of running for a town office, Logan? I don't know. Ask me a question about a town issue. Okay, what do you think about the town budget passing? I just really hope the audio and video come out all right. What about the school budget? Hmm. I really hope the audio and video come out all right. What about the cable department and TCTV funding being passed? That I like. So future town official Logan Casey? Uh, I think I'll stick with TCTV for now. Yes, it's still there. The demolition of 10 Pleasant Street had to be postponed. The select board held an emergency meeting on May 10th before the annual town meeting to approve a change order for the removal of remaining asbestos. Complete construction of 10 Pleasant Street is promised soon. For more updates on the project, visit the Templeton Town website, templetonma.gov. In case you didn't know, the much-anticipated annual town report for fiscal year 2022 is available. You can pick up a free copy from the Selectman's office at Town Hall. It is also available at the town website, templetonma.gov. What fiscal year are we in now, Hannah? Shh, let's wait for the... TCTV News Quiz. Uh, this past weekend, the Gala Art and Music Festival was held at Red Apple Farm. Uh, the event featured numerous local musicians such as the Big Random and Sweet Euphoria, as well as many quilt painters and quilters. You can find upcoming gala events and more information about the Gardner Area League of Artists at galagardner.org. In other news, get ready. The Templeton Farmer's Market returns to the Boynton Library grounds this Thursday, May 25th from 4 to 7 p.m. Vendors are welcome without charge. 
Boynton Public Library welcomes donations of annual and perennials for the Memorial Garden to be planted May 27th. Boynton Library's garden is always one of the prettiest spots in Templeton. You can even sit in it and take it in all day long. A study has been funded by the Community Preservation Committee for the Templeton Emergency Management Building at 1 Elm Street. The study is conducted by our Icon Architecture. Story Hour at Boynton Library recently had the largest group so far with 20 children for Story Hour. That's a lot of itsy bitsy spiders. They've been known to drop in. Uh, ex exterior trim painting was completed at Boynton Library, and the stitching group uh, finished up their patriotic wreath projects. Maybe we'll get some photos of them soon. Are you environmentally minded? The Conservation Commission is accepting applications for two open seats. If interested, please see Jessica Case in Room 3 at Town Hall. And in business news, Bunny's Dairy Bar is becoming Izzy's Ice Cream with new owners. Hmm. Maybe I'll have some Izzy Bitsy ice cream. And now for our TCTV News Quiz. Do you know what fiscal year the town finances are currently operating in? Is it A, 19-something, B, fiscal year 2023, C, fiscal year 2024, or D, daylight savings time? The answer is B. Town budgets are in fiscal year 2023 until the end of this June. Fiscal year 2024 starts July 1st. FY 2024 budgets were approved at the recent town hall meeting. As we mentioned before, we are now on Twitter, and we would like to tell you all about what's on your mind, Templeton. At TCTV, we'd like to answer your questions about ourselves and our town government. You can submit your questions to our tag with the hashtags, hashtag TCTV and hashtag WOYMT. Let's look at the forecast for this week and the next. And finally, we have the health and wellness report from the Board of Health for this week. If you take an at-home COVID test and test positive, please call 978-602-2356 to report. At-home test kits are still available at Templeton Town Hall. Do we miss anything? I feel like we've got everything, but I'm not too sure. I'm sure someone will tell us if we did. Not wrong. <laughs> we'll leave you with some nice Otter River scenes from River's Edge Conservation Area and some upcoming events. Until next time, I'm Hannah Bennett. And I'm Logan Casey. And soon, we'll have a brand new slogan. This is TCTV News.